Hello once again everyone, it's day 4 of spoiler season and today we've got just a little one, just a tiny little one after the massive reveals yesterday with the Echo bosses. So here we are, this is Grimoire. I will play the video. All right, so Grimoire, a very small, simple text box here. You get the Arcane Grimoire, which can be used to freely swap between spell books and also acts as a Book of the Dead for the purpose of using uh, Arceus magic to summon thralls. Additionally, when you select the Relic, you unlock access to all prayers and spell books and spells, regardless of the area, quest, or diary requirements. So you get Ancients, Lunars, Archaeus, fully unlocked, regardless of what locations you have, you don't need Desert, Zaya, or Remnick. Not only that, you also get the Prayers, which includes Piety from Kandarin, and both Rigor and Augury from Chambers in Zaya, as well as, I guess, Preserve as well from Zaya? I guess that counts too. Uh, and to clarify, this is the same stats as a Book of the Dead, so it's plus six magic bonus and plus three prayer. So pretty simple one, not too much to say about this because it explains it itself. It certainly opens up some more possibilities if you're doing a mage build, but you think you're gonna need ancients. So you have to pick desert. Well, you don't necessarily have to pick desert anymore. The thing is, I can't really evaluate the worth of this one too much when we don't know what it's up against. You can look at something like this and go, oh my god, that's amazing. Of course I'm going to pick it. But picking it means that you're giving up something of equal value in the same tier and we just don't know what those things are yet so it's it's very hard to like evaluate the strength of this or how likely i am to play with it because i've, I've no idea what i'll be potentially giving up for it so yeah i guess this is just a very quick video today i didn't want to miss one even though it's just a tiny one when we don't know what it's up against it's very hard to evaluate as i say so obviously a very powerful effect to have, very cool, and it opens up different region choices that you might ne necessarily been thinking because you wanted certain spell books. But we have to see what we're giving up for it first. It's going to be all for me on this one. Hopefully there's a bit more of an in-depth reveal again tomorrow. I would love for them to give us the combat mastery stuff next. Because I think until we know what's happening with styles, if we're picking a style, or if we're tribriding, or duo hybriding, or what, until we know that information from the combat masteries, it's, it's very hard to make any concrete decisions as to what regions you want to play in. Because I don't know if I want to focus all my regions onto one combat style, or if I want them to give me a good balanced array. Yeah. Keep an eye out though, I'll be having all the future reveals of course on the channel and plenty more to come, other guides and whatnot. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to stay up to date on all the latest content here and hit the like button too because it helps me out and it makes me happy on the inside of my brain just like Jagex's dopamine hits during leagues. Till next time, look after yourselves, be lovely to one another. See you on the next one.